Hi guys, for a while ago I recorded a video about uh, scroll view auto layout configuration and uh, surprisingly but that was a very popular video and seems that it is a real life problem for you guys and you asked for update for Xcode 11 because that video was about configuration in Xcode 10 and surprisingly after Xcode upgrade everything is broken and uh, that tutorial doesn't work anymore and Okay, it's kind of works, but it's not ob oblivious and this auto layout configuration for scroll view is not oblivious at all and uh, I believe it works better in Xcode 11 and let's jump to the test project and see how it works and uh, hopefully that will help to you to solve your problem with scroll view. Yeah, and if you are new here, my name is Ivers Meyers, I am freelance iOS developer and you are welcome to my channel if you will decide to hit like or subscribe buttons <laughs> below there, that will be really nice. Ok, but let's start with tutorial. Let's create new project in Xcode. Let's make it a little bit bigger. So, I will use single app uh, project. Basically, we need nothing more but storyboard in this project because we will not use any code here. Be sure that you are using storyboards, not Swift UI. Swift UI is absolutely different. And let's save it somewhere. Ok, I have my mind storyboard here. I will open my mind storyboard and let's start immediately with dropping in scroll view here. I will add scroll view to my screen. I will stretch my scroll view to fill all the screen here and we would like to add uh, four constraints here to pin our screen uh, to the view. Basically they are already here. You can put zeros here, you can just enable those and with add four constraints button we are adding our four constraints for scroll view. Currently we have error here for auto layout therefore you see a red dot here but we will fix that soon. Ok, I would like to use for my screen, I would like to use stack view. Stack view is very nice and powerful tool for auto layout screens and that allow you to configure different views nicely. Let's pay attention a little bit on details what we have here on the sidebar. We have for scroll view we have content layout guide and frame layout guide. Those two things are new in Xcode 11. Uh, this functionality is supported back to iOS 11 and uh, you will be fine to use those for projects which are supporting iOS 11 or above. Ok, what we are doing here? We need to set constraints for our stack view as well and to do that I am selecting my stack view, I am pushing control button right now and dragging to content layout guide. And there we have four uh, points which I would like to enable for my, for my stack view. I keep uh, shift button pressed right now and then I can select everything what I like to select here. Let's check our constraints, how they look. Mm, actually I don't need those numbers here. I will make that back to zero, back to zero. Ok, looks fine. Everything looks good and I will set uh, width of this scroll view as well and I will control drag to this frame layout guide. And I will set equal width for this. And actually we are almost ready to go. And now I will throw my uh, user interface elements into this stack view and everything should work fine. <laughs> ok, let's test how it looks. I will add view here. Let's add view here and I will set size for this view, let's say 600 and I will change background color to 
green for example just to make it visible on the screen and I will add one more view here no not here I would like to add it in my stack view okay on the top it works for me on and this one will be orange let's say so and also I would like to add size for this view and let's say again 600 and okay we don't have any errors here anymore and you already can see that we can scroll uh, this screen in our storyboard but let's build and run this project as well to see if it works correctly also we can add some more elements for example I, maybe i would like to have some label here let's say it's let's say it's title and again i will add some constraints to that let's say 40 60, 60 and height 21 and let's center it and I will add for example some uh, let's say button and I will add some more views maybe I don't know whatever image view for example I will add image view here just to make some dumb user interface and let's set background color for image view just again just to make it visible okay yellow and orange not the best choice let's make it purple okay let's run our project and see if it works or not and done so this is our screen and we can scroll it and scroll view works fine pay attention on this stack view i really recommend to use it if you are using auto layouts i really recommend to try to use and play around with stack views you can add spacing here most likely you are familiar with stack view if not pay attention to it learn how to use them those are very 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 helpful in uh, storyboard projects to build your interface Okay, that was about it. If you like this video, again, there is like button. Thank you if you will decide to press that. And uh, yeah, please subscribe if you like this channel. And that will be really appreciated. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.